based on how much Justine's been mouthing off on her podcast lately, seems like what you're doing is working. Not that I had any doubt. And with WrestleMania right around the corner. What are you thinking? I think it's time I stop avoiding Justine. The two of us need a face-to-face, -face, and I know exactly where to do it. Of course, it's obvious to anyone with a brain that my niece's efforts to undermine me, to undermine my legacy, are really the attempts of a weak, scared little girl. I just want to talk. Seems that we have an unexpected guest today. You may know her from her recent humbling loss to me at Elimination Chamber. My niece. Or as she always asked to be called growing up, Little Justine. So, LJ, I've got to ask, how does it feel to be nurtured by the best in the business and still be such a letdown? You know, you were the best in the business, Aunt Justine. I'm sure you didn't make the trip here to tell me what I already know. But isn't that what you said you want? For someone to give you your due? See... After the initial shock of seeing you at Elimination Chamber, I've had some more time to think. And you're right. You were never given proper credit for what you did and what you accomplished. So you did join me to make my own point. What's that you said on SmackDown? About having to survive a world five times as hard and seven times as brutal? In the moment, I think I would have said you were making excuses. But now I know you're exactly right. You did work harder to get less. You should have been the main event week after week when you were in WWE. Sure, they threw praise on your name after you retired, when management decided they needed to add another woman to the Hall of Fame, or now when they want to get a Legends ratings bump. Fans buy into that nostalgia but forget what it was really like for you. How they treated you when you were on the roster. What do you know about it? You don't understand. But that's just it. I do understand. You've been teaching me since my first day in WWE. And you know what I finally really get? Everything that you've complained about, that you're mad at, for all that you blame management or other things beyond your control. It's always been me who's been your real target because I'll never know the limitations that you did. I will get to push myself in ways you never could, have opportunities that you never would have been given and see how far I can really go. And you? Justine, you're a legend. The best of her time. Maybe could have been the best of all time if you had a level playing field. But the fact that you'll never know when I will, that's what you'll never forgive me for. And that's what's going to allow me to replace your legacy with my own. You ungrateful piece You're a of selfish, self-centered, only thinks for herself. Because I'm the only one I could ever count on. Looks like we have something in common then. Because I certainly couldn't count on you. You don't deserve your talent. It should have been me. But it's not you, Justine. It's not you. <sighs> It'll be me at WrestleMania. I've still got it. <laughs> sure. You've got what's left. Enjoy it while it lasts. But me? <laughs> I'm just getting started. You planning on stealing my title tonight? Your title? Excuse me? 
Is the SmackDown Women's Championship yours? Calm down, kid. I'm not talking about a championship. I'm talking about my honorific title, Mr. WrestleMania. Wouldn't it be... You know what? Never mind. If you mean, do I plan to have the match of the night, then yes. Justine won't know what hit her. That's what I like to hear. And you should obviously always be focused on winning your match, especially tonight with everything that's on the line for you. But don't forget to have fun out there, too. I'll try. I'm not sure my aunt's betrayal has been particularly fun for me, though. I don't know, kid. Sometimes fun means being the daylight out of a once trusted friend or family member. WWE superstars, we are just built different. Thanks. I think. Seen a lot of people go out on the grandest stage of them all, but this feels different. Who are you rooting for, Tom? Ah, oh, LJ, don't ask me that. You know I love you both. I just want the two of you to sort this out. I don't know if that's possible. Justine gets bent out of shape about everything. You saw how she reacted when I dredged up her past and all the things that bother her. Hey, you're not perfect either, LJ. No one's forgotten what you did to your tag team partner. Point taken. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I know you can make it on your own. Even from your debut, you were confident and strong, wearing your own gear, rocking your own moves. But seeing you someday both move past this and work together, that would be something both the friend and the fan in me would like to see. We'll see, Tom. We'll see. I'm still not happy it's you and not me out there. But I do have a shared interest in seeing Justine lose the championship tonight. If she hadn't been in the dark pod, I would still be champion. So, good luck, I suppose. How big hearted of you. I'm just benevolent like that, I guess. Besides, you helped me with Stephanie. You were the only person who told it to me straight when everyone else was conspiring against me. Hey, I was right back when you started and I said we could be friends after all. Huh, I guess you were. You know, that's actually kind of sweet. And hopefully, I'll get to rightfully reclaim the championship from my friend very soon. If you win, your days as champion are already numbered. And there's the dewdrop I know. Here she is making her WrestleMania debut. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship! Introducing the challenger from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, L. To basically grow up in WWE, then to appear at WrestleMania against your aunt who brought you in? You couldn't write a better story. This isn't just a match, it's a therapy session with suplexes, submissions, and strikes. Let's see if this superstar can show us something special tonight. Justine is back on the grandest stage of them all. And introducing the champion, Justine! The 
this certainly isn't the first time she's been on the big stage, but for Justine, this WrestleMania will be like no other as she squares off against her own niece. You might worry that Justine might hold back at some point as maternal or protective instincts or whatever take over, but I'm fairly confident she doesn't have any of those, so this is gonna be fun. And we're about to see a chapter in the history of the SmackDown Women's title. It doesn't get any bigger than the grandest stage of them all, and it doesn't get any more heart-wrenching than a battle between beloved relatives turned bitter rivals. And that's exactly what we've got. Wrestle freaking media for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Every generational grudge match has led to this. It goes back a lot further than that, Saxton. A lifetime of idolizing her legendary aunt culminates here in this explosive showdown. Thanks for the barricade. And here come the punches. The champ taking their share of hits now. Throws her back in from ringside. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Look at her stumble back up. Probably seeing better vision from the top. And into the count. There's two. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Section. Vicious forearm right in the skull. A determined sequence of attacks from her here. Momentum has clearly. Oh, new champ! Barely kicks out. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Adding a level of insult with that kind of physicality. Curling your own body like that is insane. And that was an effective attack, guys. Those mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Oh, look at the knees. One after the other. And Justine is in command. And bit by bit, Justine chipping away at the competition. She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Drawing European uppercut. Beautiful athleticism. Step suplex. Very nice. To the kidneys, a big clothesline. Jeez, that could take you out. Cover two. I can't believe it. I hate to question her, Cole, but that was just plain silly. Why would you do that at this point in the match? I think I know what's next. Your favorite, Saxon. Play 
faces her right in the corner. Inverted tree of low position now. She's fighting back. <laughs> Fed's press takes him down. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Driven into the mat. And she's using this moment to summon all of her strength. Oh, Fez Press! Furious punches unloading! Beautiful athleticism! Oh, man, by the hair of hair whip. <laughs> Letting her opponent know she is ready for anything. Yeah. <laughs> Another A one for good measure. A commanding rush of attacks on her here. Yeah, now she has to turn this momentum around. Well scattered reversal there. It's time for her to take advantage of that misstep and take command. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. But champions need to finish the job. Where in the world does one find such strength at this stage to kick out that early in the count? Was not able to seal the deal with her best move. Now she's asking, what more can I do? She fights Justine back. Looking to apply an agonizing armbar stretch. Punishing stretch. slowing down whatsoever. Up high. Splash! Is it up? The cover! And a strong kick out in one. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Ooh, what a damaging blow. A bad place to be for the challenger. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. As the arm bars stretch in. Oh. oh, look at the knee strikes. Precision strikes. All the momentum has swung to her favor. She has become relentless at this point. We all know what she's looking to do next. From the top, oh, she misses the mark. Not 
the position you want to be in right now. No, 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 no. Powerbomb out of the apron. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. And the damage must be mounting on the torso to this point. Every hit more detrimental than the last. She's getting back up, but she might be down again soon. On the top. Justine fires back. Tagged with a punch. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. for a quick kick out. Take down, skull first. You can see her struggling to find her bearings. Hoist it up into a knee. The champ's eyes look glazed over. That's gotta be it. Two. Wow, Corey, what do you think of this decision? I like it a lot, Cole. She clearly wants to inflict even Nice go behind. Up across the shoulders. WrestleMania? I'd have called it possible, but unlikely, Cole. What a match. And there's no question whose moment this is. Whatever and whoever may have defined this superstar in the past, she's now cemented her own legacy within WWE. We could be seeing this image at WrestleMania for years to come. Wait, what's happening? I'm not sure. Can Justine be trusted here? I don't believe it. It seems that even Justine's small heart grew three sizes today. If these two can get over the differences after the rivalry they've had, then anyone can do it. Look out! What the hell? The new champion was just ambushed from behind! It may be the end of this rivalry, but this champion's story in WWE is just getting started.
still 